Let's turn now to America's schools. Today, Sacramento's teachers went on strike in protest over low pay and more work due to a teacher shortage. Labor Department data shows there are more than 300,000 fewer teachers compared to before the pandemic. So in tonight's Eye in America, CBS's Meg Oliver looks at what one Tennessee school district is doing to address the problem. All right, here we go. At Kenwood so Middle School, an hour north of Nashville, Tennessee. The primary wave and the secondary wave. Demetrius Wynn tries to explain seismic waves to this eighth grade class. All right, so we know it's 830 because this is our 830 block. Two years ago, the 42-year-old father of four was spending his days mopping floors as a school custodian. This has definitely been a change. Do you feel it's a calling? Oh, definitely. Definitely it's a calling uh, because, like I said, it was... It was something I wanted to do, just didn't know how it was going to happen. Facing a growing teacher shortage, the Clarks from Montgomery County School District launched an innovative teacher residency program in 2018, recently registered as the first of its kind in the country. Shauna Peartris is the district's chief academic officer. If you didn't have this program in place right now, how bad would the teacher shortage be? We would have had about 150 teachers short. The program squeezes a four-year degree into three. Night school is free, and they co-teach during the day with a mentor, earning up to $27,000 a year. When they graduate, their salary almost doubles. How will that change your life? Oh, it will open up a lot of opportunities for me. Okay, so here we go. The program is funded through the district's regular budget, state, and federal grants. Is this a model that the rest of the country could follow to solve the teacher shortage? Now that it's registered, absolutely. Would you give Mr. Wynn an A? Nice. Can anyone tell me? You feel good, right? They feel generous. <laughs> <laughs> Wynn will graduate with a bachelor's in education and a minor in special education in 2023. How does the future look? The future is bright. I know that once I become a full-time teacher, that like the opportunities are endless. Primary way first hits. Endless opportunities helping fulfill educational our, uh, dreams. For I in America, Meg Oliver, CBS News, Clarksville, Tennessee.